And welcome back to our Aspirus Keweenaw Coaches Corner here with the head coach of the Huskies, Kim Cameron. And uh, coach, it uh, wasn't always pretty, but uh, you got the job done. You moved to 19-1 overall, 10-0, or 10, excuse me, straight, uh, winning streak now. Uh, thoughts on the game? Uh, no, it, it wasn't. It wasn't always pretty. Um, that being said, uh, we, we did finish it out. I'm just, you know, we go up, we come out at halftime. I thought we did a great job out of halftime. We go up 21, and I don't know if we relaxed or took a breath or, or what happened, but um, you, we can't go from 20 to 10 to 20 to 10 twice in the second half or three times in the second half. I mean, you, we, you can't let teams back in to the game like that. I mean, all of a sudden it's eight points and there's five minutes left and we're sitting there thinking, oh man, we were just up 20. You, you know, that there's a problem there and I don't I, I don't know if we relaxed for a second. You know, I was a little disappointed in our in our bench today. Um, we tried to, to give a couple different people some chances and I, I, I want, you know, we need somebody to be able to step up and, and not miss defensive assignments when they come in the game and, and unfortunately that didn't happen and, you know, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm Obviously, I'm, I'm happy. I, I'm happy we won. I just... You know, def really defensively, we got to be better. And I, we weren't really happy in the first half. I didn't think uh, their guards had layup after layup after layup. We were having a really tough time keeping them in front of us. Um, and then, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't you know, I didn't think we were as sharp as we needed to be. You know, I'm, I'm happy we got... Yeah, it, uh, the problem is that I'm watching us, and we're up 20. And I'm thinking, you know, if we really put our foot down, if we really focus, we're a really tough team. Yeah. You know, we're, we're a really, really tough team. And then when I see us kind of fall apart, it makes, you, you know, you, I'm not second-guessing myself, but I'm thinking we're not as tough as I want us to be able to be. And at this point right now in the season, I want us to start being able to build on up 20 or up 10 or up 7 or up 5, whatever the case may be. If you're on a little run and you have the momentum, you got to go with it and, and stop letting teams kind of pull at your strings all the time. And it's only because I think that we can be, I think we can do some good things, but, you know, we just have to, we have to be able to be more consistent. Um, the, uh, yeah, 20 to 3 run to start the second half. Uh, what were you guys doing right to, to make that run? I just, we were, we played defense. I mean, they didn't, you know, they called him out in the first minute. They, then it was, it was clear, you know, we got our first stop. I think we scored twice and they call a timeout. And it was clear that we were, we wanted to set the tone for the second half. And it, it's, it's, you know, it's their mindset. And, you know, I, I do think they probably got a little bit tired towards the end, but there's really no, there's really no excuse for that. But. How about, um, what do we know about Kylie and her injury? Obviously, it didn't look good. She yeah. went down, and and um, how, how's she feeling? We don't know. It, 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 she's hurting pretty bad, so it's hard to tell. Uh, it's swollen and... Yeah. Any, any chance that had an effect on the team uh, mentally as we you know down what? the stretch that's a, that's, You know what, that's a great point because you're right, because it affected me. You know, I'm yeah. sitting there thinking... Yep. You know, I hope that it's okay. Yeah, and right. you know what? You're right, and that could be that could be because that was a that was hard, and, and you know it was it was loud, and it was um, it was pretty scary moment. So that that could be it. Uh, Kylie Mock, excuse me, uh, Jillian Ritchie and, and uh, Danny Blake, each with 23 points in the game. Obviously, they uh, led you all night. Jillian really seemed to set the tone for you guys uh, yeah. offensively in, the, in this game. Yeah, and you know, I think her charge take in the second half, her charge take in the second half, I, I, I wanted to call a timeout so that I could go and just tell her that is, that's exactly what we talked about. Yeah. That's exactly what we talked about at halftime. That's exactly what we talked about. It makes people think twice about going in there. It makes them think twice about of driving as hard as they can with their head down. I mean, when we do that, and it was just, it was a complete game changer. I thought she was phenomenal the entire game. I thought she was she was tough. You know, she was a senior. She scored posting up. She scored from three. And the charge take and you know the, the contesting of every shot that Christina Branch or whoever she was on took. I thought she did a great job. I'm just I'm really happy with how far she's how far what what she's doing for this team. Fully all, all the way around, all the way around. And I mean, I'm telling you that charge take was. It's exactly what we talked about, you know, and that's a senior stepping up for her team showing I'm going to be the first one to do this. We're going to play defense, and this is what I'm doing to prove to you, and this is how we're going to win, and she takes it just like that, you know. Awesome job by her, and then uh, obviously you guys uh, need, to, need to close out this uh, stretch by game, fifth game in 10 days. Coming up on Saturday, Grand Valley won a close win against Northern tonight. They beat it by four uh, in Allendale, so they're obviously going to be hungry. Um, you guys haven't won there in a few years, so talk about the upcoming game. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what. We just got done talking about you know our, our senior Jillian Ritchie and, uh, and and Emily Harrison, and, and they have not won at 
they have not won at Grand Valley yet. Wow. And so for, you know, I just think with what Jill has done for this team, I'm hoping that Jill and, and Emily both, for what they've done for this team, I'm hoping that everybody kind of rallies around them and gives that last ditch effort, everything that they have for our last game of the five days and, <laughs> yeah. and a couple promises for a day off or ice cream or something. We'll, we'll bribe, we'll do whatever we need to do. Um, but it's, it's going to be a tough game, but I, I really, I hope that everybody pulls together so we can get this one for our seniors. Well, congrats on the win tonight. I know that you're not necessarily thrilled with uh, how things went down, especially with one of your players going down. But at the end of the day, it's your 10th straight win. You're 19-1. and 1. Congrats, Coach. Thank you so much.